so welcome to my summer cleaning video. Today we are getting straight into things and first of all, I'm gonna start making my to-do list. There's something just so, so satisfying about to-do lists and I always like to do a to-do list whenever I do the cleaning or just anything in my life to be completely honest. There's nothing more satisfying than ticking it off and knowing it is all done. Next up, I'm gonna make myself a lovely cappuccino whilst I clean because we need that motivation and I feel like when you've got a nice cup of coffee there, it helps you get through it. Then put on your biggest, comfiest joggers, scrape your hair back, and we can commence the cleaning. So I'm first of all just doing a load of washing. I'm doing whites actually, so just shoving them all in the washing machine. I'm the daughter waiting for you. You're my river running high. Run deep, run wild. I, I follow, I follow you. We are doing the dreaded cat area. It is always so so hard when you have cats to know where to like put the food, put the litter. So I've just sort of shoved it all towards the end of the kitchen, um, and they always make a bloody mess everywhere with their food. They're just so messy. Always always use a dustpan and brush for this because if you don't and suck it up with your Hoover, it absolutely stinks. <laughs> is another one of my favorite jobs scooping the poo out of the cat litter i only changed this litter yesterday so i'm literally just going to scoop a bit of the poo out um, and then just apply a little bit of fresh cat litter over the top So to clean my bins, I'm using this Sephora fake version from Home Bargains. It is the rhubarb one, it smells insane. So I'm putting a couple of capsules, some hot steaming water, um, and just letting that like soak and steam. And then I'm gonna take like just an old sort of dishmatic. I have so many dishmatics. Um, and yeah, I use this one for my bins. And then I'm putting some sif in just to make it smell extra nice and make sure it's really clean. Because you know when bins just smell of bins and they smell just disgusting? Yeah, I like it to smell sparkling clean. <laughs> sure I've told you guys about this trick but I always put some Sephora just on some kitchen roll and put this in the bottom of my bins and it really ensures that they always just smell so so good. Next up we're going to clean down the kitchen surfaces with my favourite method which is the rhubarb flavour. Flavour? Scent. <laughs> So I always get like tea stains because obviously the white work tops and the method doesn't get rid of that. So I use this Barkeeper Spray and Friend Stain Remover. It's like a powder. Honestly, it is freaking insane. Be careful with this because it's quite strong. So don't leave it on your countertops too long. But honestly, it gets rid of any stains. It's so good. Next up, I'm using the Star Drops Window and Glass Spray for my silvers. Honestly, one of the best out there. It's so cheap, inexpensive and does an amazing job. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, next up, just a little trick I do. So with your reed diffusers, if you're all out of scent, take some Sephora, like your favorite scent, and just fill it up with that. And honestly, it really works. I just dip it in, and then change the end of the sticks, and honestly, it smells amazing. Next up, I'm just doing a general tidy, and before I get any cat comments about, oh my god, the cat's on your worktop, first of all, I do have indoor cats, and so they don't actually go outside, and second of all, I don't actually prepare food on this worktop, I do it on the back walls, which they don't go on, uh, but honestly, I always keep my worktop so clean anyway, and if I ever was to do anything on this worktop, it always gets a spray down, so yeah, really no biggie. <laughs> Next up, I'm just taking the stainless steel um, cream. It's from Astonish. It is so good. I always use this once a week on my sinks and just give it a deep clean. And yeah, it's just so good. Again, at removing like tea stains. It just gives it for a deep clean. I love it. thing I like to do in my sink is use my favourite fabric conditioner which at the moment is comfort intense and luxurious and get some hot water and just steam the kitchen it just makes it smell so so amazing <laughs> Next up, I'm just taking some Zaflora spray and I'm just wiping all of my white units down. And they're really easy to wipe down actually, so I really recommend um, these units. But they get like so much food in the tops where, as you can see, like there's a little indent, so like loads of food always collects in there and just like dirty fingers. So yeah, once a week I like to just give them a real deep clean. Next up, I'm just giving my flowers a nice spray with some like fabric scent. <laughs> Finally, I'm just going around all of the skirting boards with some Zaflora because they get so filthy and dusty. Again, this is something I like to do like once a week um, and yeah, just give them a good clean. And that is the kitchen all finished and sparkling clean so I thought I'd give you a little look at how it now looks.
so on to the living room. I'm first of all taking my Astonish fabric remover from Poundland. It is amazing and it smells so good. And then I'm also taking this little brush that I also got from Poundland to brush down all the sofas. You would not even believe how much hair, dust, cat fur. I don't even know what comes off a sofa, but there is so much crap on it. So yeah, I always like to brush down the sofa and spray it with some fabric refreshener and then obviously just plump up my pillows. And I also like to spray it on my rug because it smells that good and oh, it's just insane. On the surface of the darkness. On the surface of the darkness. On the surface. Onto the coffee table, and if you have a Tom Ford book, you'll know how much dust and hair and crap it collects. So, good little tip is to get a lint roller, and it will literally get all of that off. So that's the way to clean it. And then, as you can see, I'm simply just taking my star drops, window, and glass cleaner, and just cleaning all of my coffee table down. <laughs> Lastly, a nice freshen up with some air freshener. I'm using the Unstoppables in Fresh. If you know, you know. It is freaking amazing. <laughs> to the bedroom and the first thing I'm doing is making the bed and then I'm going to spray it down again with some of the Astonish fabric, um, what is it, refreshener, just so it smells all nice for when I get into bed later. the spare room and there's not really a lot to do in here other than just tidy all the crap off the bed and then just give it a little mop and just clean everywhere really. <laughs> I'm doing today and that is the bathroom. I'm taking these lavender um, floor wipes just to clean my toilet. I try not to use floor wipes too much, well any wipes, um, but I really do like to use them for the toilet just because I think they're the most hygienic than like reusing like a microfiber cloth or something. <laughs>
bathroom all sparkling clean. I really, really hope you have enjoyed this clean with me. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye!